Okay, we're back in Spain. Welcome back, it's the first day back. I'm gonna do something this summer. I'm gonna try and video vlog a little bit this summer, which I haven't ever done before. Even though this is my eighth year here to kind of show you what does Spain look like? What's it, uh, what am I doing every day? What's the kind of a, a, a life in the day, if you will, in España? You see above me, um, La Seta is the biggest wooden structure in the world. It's just down the street from my apartment. So I just got here yesterday, slept it off. And now, of course, it's middle of pandemic here. It's worse than it is in the States. And everybody here is uh, being extra cautious. Um, only about 20% of the people are vaccinated. We're at home, they're about 80 or so percent. And so uh, it's backwards from what we've been doing. So we're not quite, we've been almost almost not worried about COVID for a while now and they're still very worried about it over here. So anyway, I'm gonna give you a, a tour. I'm, I'm walking down here, it's my first day. So I'm gonna go and get me a new pair of Picolinos. Mine are worn out, so okay. So I'll give you a few shots walking down the street here, uh, kind of in the shopping district and uh, show you what that looks like. Zapatos. Look alike Piccolinos, but not the real thing. Looking for some Piccolinos. Here we are outside the Flamenco Dancing Hall. And this is like kind of closed. Looks like they're ready to greet some new visitors there. coolest police cars in town though look at check out the green wheels on the police car come on day glow green you'll see him coming for a while Here comes the bus typical mode of transportation for the students around the city they run continuously they have seven or eight different routes that they run on. Here comes another one, here comes another one. So an easy way to get around if you need to go all the way across town is just to hop on the bus. The sign on the front windshield on the bus is to tell you exactly what route they're on and where they're going, so it's easy to, to get on the right bus. We have Academy, they have Decathlon, which is basically an Academy store, cool store. And I know what you're thinking. Why do you have a Santa Claus mask on in the middle of summer? Because don't you think it feels a little bit like Christmas? A little bit, right? My favorite pastry store. La Campagna. Unbelievable little store. So cool. Little guys and tuxedos are working in there. Pastries, oh man. There's the tower made of mascarpone. Coolest old sign here, this old Longines sign for old watch store. Still working perfectly though. Really cool store. If you're into watches. You can watch what's going on in there. <laughs> I bet they have time to talk to you. <laughs> they don't have anything secondhand in there. <laughs> My goodness. Sorry, y'all. Little street performer here, playing violin out on the street. He's all about peace, no violence. <laughs> Violins, get it. 
Never mind. Looking for a Picolino store and a Orange, which is orange. It's a cell phone store. I need to get a new SIM card for my phone, so I'll be a Spanish phone holder. Because my AT&T will absolutely murder you over here with charges, and so you gotta be real careful with those guys. Here we are on Calle Tatooine. Not to be confused with Tatooine, because that's, you know, Star Wars stuff. Oh, here's something cool. This is a, an original poster. This is how they advertised for the original Studebaker. I think this is from 1929. But the original tiles are still here from the original mural. So this is a, there may have been one or two tiles replaced, but this is an original mural um, from 1929. I'm pretty sure that's the correct year. Triana, you see Triana on there, that's where all the famous tile workers and um, ceramic artisans kind of house themselves. Okay, here's the Vodafone store. I'm gonna go in here and see if they can maybe help me with a SIM card in the Vodafone store. Okay, are you, you're Jose or, yeah? yeah. This is Jose, and he got me fixed up with a Spanish SIM card. <laughs> hey, I'm good now. Okay, doesn't get any easier than that, Vodafone. You go in, point down 20 euros, get you unlimited data, or calls rather, and then uh, I think 35 gigabytes of data a month for 20 euros. So how you gonna beat that? And across the street from it, look, a Piccolino store. the best shoes ever made. They're so good. Let's see if he has a pair. There we go. That's what we need right there. Okay, here we go. You got to put your, put your foot in a plastic bag. <laughs> if I can do it. There you go, one plastic sock. Okay. Mm-hmm. Back on. Okay, I got my new Picolinos. Life is good. Something is going on up here though. Let's let's go see what's happening up here. Tiny trash truck, tiny trash truck, I abhor you. Okay, we are approaching City Hall, what would be City Hall. And somebody's very mad about something. They're trying to share their opinion very peacefully. Whatever that might be. Nothing says watch out for COVID like a peaceful gathering at City Hall. A lady with a pot and a wooden spoon is leading the whole protest. We're not going to take it anymore. Okay, now we're gonna roll up this way and check one more important thing. Did my favorite restaurant in Sevilla survive COVID? I see the uh, sign up there. So that's a good sign. It's La Cantina Mexicana. And the little chef, Oscar, will be glad to see me, but they don't open till like nine o'clock, but I'm gonna come over here and eat tonight. Woohoo! In two years. Okay. Oh, La Cantina looks like they've been eating outside, huh? It's a party out here. A party on the patio. La Cantina. 
Mexicana. Okay. Says uh, open Tuesday through Saturday. So today is Monday. No La Cantina today. But it's still here. Hallelujah. We will be back on our video journal to La Cantina. Okay, I'm at my uh, favorite restaurant and it has changed names. It's not the uh, Puerto Osario anymore. It's uh, Los Niños del Flor. Enjoying my favorite cold beverage, Cerveza con Limón, which is just half beer, half lemon Fanta. And if it's hot outside, you can't beat it. So I think I'll have me some dinner here today. Maybe some uh, Solomillo whiskey. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, finally to show you where I am, that pink building right there, the second floor, is the is the school. So I'm gonna show you how far it is home to the apartamento. It's not very far. This way and turn this corner here. And my apartment is like mm, maybe a hundred yards down the street. So that's how close I am. To the school. Cool little convertible Audi. He's listening to the smoke, oh, wait, smoke on the water, a little bluish or cold. From America. Home of the free. Let's see. So, this building right here where those people are, uh, right in front of them, that's my apartment building. So that's how far I am from the school. So not a very long walk, which is really good for an old fat guy. Oh. Okay, so here you go. Coming into where my apartment is. I got the patio of the oranges. Elevator here. All us fit people, we'll take the stairs. Cool little weird sculpture thing. Okay. Patio. This is my apartment, number 1B. Okay, we made it home. There's my kitchen. Purple kitchen, little cooktop, combo, oven slash microwave, Pringles, and then got a uh, laundry room, and then bathroom, downstairs, take my mask off. Downstairs, purple couch, purple chair, TV with Spanish stuff on it. Donde esta casa de Pepe? Right, so there's my computer set up at the kitchen table. Whoop. And my keys on the floor. Let's go upstairs to the bedrooms. There's two bedrooms and a bathroom up here a 
from the top of the stairs, we'll look back and you can see two floors worth of windows going down the stairs. Okay. Fun little bedroom here. Okay. With a picture of, I don't know, Venice, maybe on the window or the picture there. Seville streets and then a little guy on a or lady on a Vespa smoking a cigarette with a dog in a the back There you go little closet Bed lights off bathroom Honey washer or a bidet as they say in France <laughs> and then you got your tub shower combo There you go and then one more bedroom in here. One more bedroom. I don't know why there's Pringles next to the bed, but came all the way from Texas with the Dallas Cowboys pillow there. Bed, um, big closet, a couple things, your shelves and drawers and for your drawers for your drawers. And then this patio opens up open and then this little louver your dad slides over to the side and then you have right out of your bed you can get out of the bed whoop out onto the veranda i don't know if that's right veranda anyway out onto the patio and then you have this lovely patio you think that's grass nope it's green carpet and then uh you got your little patio table here little glass window looking out onto the rest of the complex there orange tree way down there and there you go so there's day one wrapped up it's been a long day and now i think it's time to start thinking about resting and getting ready for tomorrow tomorrow's student orientation day and whatever else but i got my phone fixed i got my shoes located and bought I got my bed made up with my <laughs> mattress pad and my fancy pillows so I'm all comfortable so I'm ready for the long haul now just wish my people were here with me so anyway there you go hope you enjoyed that and we'll talk to you again tomorrow